I do hope, Neil, we're not gradually going to get all the reds grouped round the black. And a re-rack after 50 minutes or something like that. Don't like it when players do that, they've got to be honest. Not meant to do that. Oh, so we four. No. When Doc put his hand there, the cue ball was still <coughs> on the bed of the table. I've seen Foul. referees. Graham Dot four. Well, there you are. And uh, the I feel a little sorry. Table, it? I feel very sorry for Mark there. It didn't. And that's unfair on Mark, I believe. Yeah, what's happened there? Left the table. Sorry. I think. No, the ball never left the bed of the table. Yeah, well, that's that's a that's a controversial one, and I think that Graham is at fault, personally. Yes, your visit to the he, table, Graham. He is, but the referee Alan Chamberlain is technically right. <laughs> He's right, but I think he should have told Mark what he, what happened. I think he should have told Mark the situation. Mark was misled slightly there, I think. Do you not agree, Clive? He was. How was he to know? Well, he, he was misled, yes. Your shot was when you lifted the ball from, from where it should have been played. But I can't play yep. what, from where he's I don't, I, to. Yes. See when Mark's filled, when you've seen Mark's filled, I and mean, you've lifted the weight up. Because, the because the ball has left the bed of the table when he lifted it. Right. Uh, I, mm, I'm not comfortable with this as someone that's completely <laughs> neutral in this match. And I think that um, it's a bit unfortunate the way that was uh, conducted there. Personally, the referee technically correct, but a case for him to exercise his discretion. That's how I see it completely, Clive.